Hello, um, today I just want to talk about how, um, okay, this morning, um, I was doing my job, which is, uh, I'll tell you the job description of a cart pusher, courtesy associate, courtesy attendant, stackman, stack person, they all mean cart pusher. You mean carry out means cart pusher. Um, I was pushing carts in, which is the cart retrieval, doing carry outs, loading people's items that they cannot load on their own. <laughs> um, which I'll tell you this: we're not told things and to give carts to people either. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Huh. Which, um, I want to say to you is, um, yeah, um, since I have a hearing problem, which I don't think a lot of people realize, um, I can't hear over the carts. So, like, this morning, a customer was hollering at me. They didn't ask me for a cart, and they, yeah, uh, like I said, all I seen was their mouth moving. No sound coming out, which, which like I hate to say, and the person was a total a hole, basically. Let's put it that way to be polite. Um, and he said, "Oh, just stop." Then, and he was hollering at me and being very rude, very mean. And I'll tell you this: I felt like slapping the customer in the face. He was so mean and rude, and I hate to say it, which I'd like to say it to the um, customer at Menards East in Eau Claire. Go apologize to all the cart pushers, all the cashiers, all the sales floor team members, and all the management members. Because... I'll tell you this, when you're rude to all the ones that are just trying to help you, it don't help us one bit. You know, like I would like to say, it makes things really bad on us when, you know, I get bullied and harassed at work by customers. Yes, the store ain't going to do anything about a customer. I will already tell you that right now, and, um, that's sort of why I have a petition, a couple petitions against Walmart. In fact, I am trying to hopefully get enough signatures to force Walmart to rehire me. Yesterday, I all of a sudden... Filled out an application like Andrew Outdoors wanted again, a different kind. The person that emailed me from Gander Outdoors was Stephen Houston for the Eau Claire, Wisconsin Gander Outdoors. And he said, and it was for warehouse specialists. So I'm like, okay, that would deal with inventory and binning and such of items that are overstocked and taking them out of system if they were a pick. Well, the weirdest thing is that he, all of a sudden after I filled out what he wanted, he said I have the job and that I'm already going to start. And I'm like, wait a minute, you didn't have me send me a thing that said I accepted or not. And... Then he tells me to wait for a business check in the mail, go to the local store, and 
by Toys for the Orphans at an orphanage and mailing them out. And I'm like, is it okay? Is this a scam or is this legit? So I went to the official Gander Outdoors Twitter and I questioned them and I asked them and I showed them the emails on my Twitter through my Twitter account. Um, I asked them, is this legit? They never answered me back and I'm like, I don't want this to be a scam because they said they would pay me $20.39 an hour to work 20 to 30 hours a week for only three days. I would make way more than Menards doing that, is what I hate to say. But, like I said, I just want to make sure if this is legit or not, because it's like, I don't want to be pulled into a scam. Like anyone would understand. Um, there are a lot of scammers out there. And, like I said, here was today again. Menards only scheduled two cart pushers. And I'm like, wait a minute. This is the reason why you need to hire more cart pushers. Because they kept paging me and paging me when I'm so busy out there trying to get the carts in. Plus, I had to try to figure out how to get the rails in. So, they never gave me a chance at getting stuff in when they keep paging me. And I'm like, this is why we need three cart pushers on at once. But then even I started thinking, if Menards were to hire two more cart pushers that could not cashier... You know what would happen? There won't be enough hours available for all of us. So, like I'm figuring is, probably once I'm out of Menards, um, like I said, um, Thursday I'm going to try going to a job fair, a quick trip, to see if I could get into there. Because it is going to be a lot closer for me than driving away to Menards East. And, um, like I said, in two, nothing against a 20 some an hour job, but I'm trying to figure out if it's a real job or is it phony, you know? Like I said, it yeah, you be the assistant manager's assistant. Which, I I understand that, but usually if you know if it's a legit job, they send you to a company website saying this is what the job you're going to be and the details in it and they don't send you a company, a business check and telling you to go a bunch, buy a bunch of toys and mailing them out. For the orphanage. And I'm sitting there going. Okay. I don't know if that is legit. And that's where I don't want to say. Because if this is not legit. I have to worry about. That one being a scammer. And then that. I, if he is really a scammer. I should really report him. On Indeed. So, <coughs> another thing is, too, now even the cashiers are chewing me out, and like I tried to tell that um, Maria Bannon today, the frickin' walkies at Menards, they're shot. So I remember what Walmart told me, you don't need to sit there and hold down on the button for long to get through if you're just saying yes or no or Roger you know this the second boom they should hear you unfortunately 
and this is what what I hate to say, and she wanted to argue with me like a little toddler. And I'm like, no, you damn idiot. The walkie's probably shot, because for you to say Roger or, or yes or okay, it should go through this one tap. You know, not sitting there and hold on the button and letting air go through your walkie-talkie. So, and this is where I want to say, I, and I don't want to tell too many people this. Once I leave my nerds, I am probably going to be going through things, and I hate to see it to Maria Bannon. You're probably the one person on my list I am probably going to block on Facebook as soon as I leave Menards. Because you have not been treating me that good for being a coworker. We're not really friends, because if we were really friends, you would have apologized for acting like a spoiled brat in that at work. And I hate to say it, you know, I don't think any of this would have ever have happened. You wouldn't have flipped out and all that. 